yeah, but that's, that's the old dream of socialism and communism. The old dream is for workers to say, for a population to say, okay, we're working in this factory. And our way of working is we have a board of directors and shareholders who make all the decisions and then we work real hard. But here's an idea. Let's suppose we organize the production in a completely different way. We all together decide what to produce and how to produce it. We do it cooperatively, communally, socially, communistically, whatever word you want. And we give each other a chance to speak and to make their desires known for what the work experience should be like. And then quickly someone will raise their hand, even someone in this room. Say, but you, know, you can't run a factory like that. You won't be able to produce as many widgets as you would if you had to. And then your answer is, yeah, we'll have less widgets. <laughs> but we'll have a completely different way of living. And maybe, maybe we would have a society in which a debate and a vote could be held which do we want? A society in which the relationships we have at work, where we spend most of our adult lives at work, five days out of seven, nine to five, you know, figure it out. Maybe the relationships we have, the kind of person I can be, the skills and capabilities I have that I can bring to bear and develop, that maybe that's more important than the number of widgets. Maybe we'll do with less to have the society we want. Maybe then, We'll actually take some account of the ecological question by saying we don't need to despoil the world and we may be better off. That was an, you know, Marx talked about these things. You know, this is not, may strike you as a new idea, but it isn't all that new. It's a question of how you organize the process to make that real. And if we don't do that, then it just becomes the airy dreaming, the, the stuff of seminar rooms at the university, where we talk about, gee, there's limited resources and we shouldn't pollute. And in the long run, we'll be very sorry. And people nod because they understand. And then you take your next class because you don't know how to concretize, operation, build it in to an economic system. But we should have been doing this all along. We should have been asking all along, what about the decisions of our workplace and their impact on the rest of our lives. Then we would have long ago thought, let's see, um, maybe it isn't good to be working 84 hours a week. Maybe we would be better off with less output for all of us in some fair way and do less work. Here's a little statistic for you. Every major European country, with very few exceptions, does about 20% less paid hours of work a year than Americans. Do you understand? One out of five days less. So when you travel to France and Italy and have one of those five-hour dinners with <laughs> wine and noise, really, and you, go, you finish it, stagger back to your hotel and comment to yourself, what a wonderful culture this is. This is not about culture. This is about a decision they made that they want that kind of life and they don't want to work themselves to death. 